What's up, guys? It's me in the order, and I'm back. Today is a special-ish video. Uh, I was working with someone on Discord a few days ago because I was really tired of my easy FN opening in that weird aspect ratio that I was talking about in the past few videos. So I've done it. I figured out. Well, I didn't figure out. I was working with someone on Discord, and they were able to figure out how to do it. So today, I'm going to be walking you through that. So first, I uh, obviously will have the link in the description below. But this link right here, as you can see, a Python app that patches Mac full screen to any IPA, which is awesome because that allows us um, to do it for our easy effort. And just to, you know, show you. Oh, and don't worry about this. There's a video that will should be out later today about how this is here. But today we're focusing, or at least in this video, we're focusing on EasyFN. So as you can see, my EasyFN opens in a semi-nice aspect ratio. It opens like a normal Mac app would. Let me just get my controller plugged in here so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So, um, as you can see, we're about to click full screen, and boom, it stretches throughout, the, it stretches to your entire display, and this works on every display, obviously, because we're just Mac full screen here. Um, I have noticed it makes everything stretch a bit, but overall, it, it really, it really does fix my biggest issue with this is how I had to play it in such a messed up aspect ratio. As you can see everything works. It's all stretched out perfectly. They add oh by the way just in case anyone didn't know one shot is in game. It's only gonna be here for this week and then next week. To how to do it so first thing this requires you to have Python 3 and a lot of just like random stuff so a link or two will be in the description below but basically you're wanna, gonna want to click this now I already did it so I can't go back through it but you're gonna click on that PKG go through do whatever and you should technically be good from there um but you are gonna need git so i'm gonna walk you through how to get homebrew so you can get git so you're gonna want to go to this which will also be in the description below so don't worry about that i'll actually go ahead and have these links open so i remember to put them down um so right here you'll just click this open terminal um I'm going to expand my terminal a little bit so it's easier to see. Uh, you're just going to copy and paste that in. Now, of course, I'm going to reinstall it, but it's already going to be installed. So, maybe not. Maybe I get to go through this with you. Okay. Okay, my homebrew needed an update. Okay. So, now... Uh, just to make sure that you're good, you'll type the command brew hell, and if you see all of this, great. That's where you want to go to search homebrew, and you want to just type in git. This is what you need, just straight git. Uh, I will maybe have this install command in the description below if I remember to. But you just want to click that, um, go back to your terminal tab. Um, I would, I would type clear just to, you know, not have clutter and then brew install git. Super simple. It's done. Boom. Now, of course, yours won't have the already installed and up to date. That's irrelevant because I already had it installed because I tested this before I was going to bring it to you guys and 
show you because I want to make sure absolutely positive that this is going to work. So first, you're going to want to git clone this. So you're going to want to clone into the repo. Okay, so I already have this, but this will go through and um, it will download. It should say um, it should say it's done, but if not, whenever you see your uh, task come back, whenever you see your your user come back, that's whenever you know that you're good to CD into full screen patcher. This is like pretty simple as long as you just copy and paste the commands. I wouldn't recommend typing them out yourself because unless you're like have it pulled up on a second monitor, it's going to be hard to make sure you get what you need typed in. So you're just going to want to, you know, tab into the Python 3. Now this is the part where you're going to need your EZSN IPA. Of course, if you don't already, you are going to have to um, uninstall the EZSN you have currently downloaded to your computer. Just go through applications. Actually, I'll demo it for you guys. So Fortnite EZFN, we will drag that into the trash can, empty trash. Do not worry, I'll show you here in a second, but you won't have to reinstall all three gigabytes of the game. You'll be logged in automatically. It just purely needs a fresh bot. So then you'll go back into your terminal. You'll open a finder tab. You'll go to your downloads. That's where you're going to take this and just drag it into terminal. You're going to click back into terminal and click enter. Um, do you want to keep the original IPA file? I'm going to click no here because I don't need it. But if you do, it's completely up to you. Um, then you click enter again. It takes a minute. And boom. Now, when you come back to your finder, it should... Yeah, okay, so it used to change the name, but I guess it doesn't anymore. Um, so here is your modified full screen one. So actually, I guess I would recommend doing no on keep the original IPA file because that's going to be confusing. Um, so, you know, normal task. We open up side loadly, wait for it to load. We drag it into the IPA. Th this is pretty standard stuff for this channel you know we've been doing easy fn for a little bit i'm just trying to expand um who can play easy fn and this with mac os is great because it allows um you to get really 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 good game performance yet again it's controller only sadly it sucks i know but we can't really do much about that one Unless EZFN decides to make an actual Mac client. Um, so, yep. Should be good. So we'll go into what? Here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Forgot about that. Not that. No, go away. Messages. Whoa. I don't care about Apple intelligence and messages. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, go on down to privacy and security. Like I said, pretty run of the mill. Um, and, boom. Your modified IPA will open. Of course, click OK like usual. And you'll see it won't log me out. It'll just say starting Fortnite, so I won't have to download anything. And, we should be good. And as you'll see here in a second, click the yep, here it is. Um, as I showed you guys before, if you full screen the game, it is a perfect batch. Uh, random PCF in. Okay. 
uh, they enable grass. So now you know grass.